When you're ready to print your image, you can choose File Print or Command P on the Mac, Control P on Windows. If you've installed a specific printer and you want to see how the printer manages its own colors, when you select Printer Manages Colors, you just need to be sure that it's turned on in the Print Settings dialog. And if you selected your printer and clicked Print Settings, you would see the color management options for that device. But often, Photoshop managing the color does a far better job than the device itself measuring the color. In fact, if I go to an inkjet or a home printer, I leave the images in RGB. On digital devices or inkjet devices, the RGB gamut is actually wider, and the colors you can reproduce on inkjet is actually wider than what you could do on many printing presses. So if I choose Photoshop Manages Color, you could experiment with the color profiles. For example, if I switched from the camera RGB profile to a wide gamut RGB profile, you could see a color shift where it actually looks closer to the original image. But choosing the profile for your named device is the best choice if that's installed in your machine. And I could send normal printing, meaning the ideal environment for that device, or hard proofing would simulate CMYK, press output. But it's never going to be calibrated exactly to the press unless you've gone through those steps with your print shop. So I'm just doing a personal print at home, and I will choose normal printing. Rendering intent specifies how Photoshop converts colors to the right color space. And if you go to each of these, you'll get a description of what it's doing. So it will take colors that don't reproduce accurately on the given device and put them to the closest reproducible color for that device. Black point compensation will attempt to keep the shadow detail in the image by giving you a simulation of the full dynamic range of the output device, a simulation of all the tones and colors that that device can make. If I scroll down, it defaults to centering, but if I uncheck center, I could actually pick this up and position it. Or I could type a position, for example, make it exactly top left by setting top and left to zero and zero. That often saves you some paper. And for specific devices, you'll see a non-printable margin here identified with these lines. Photoshop can also show paper white. And on this profile, I really don't see a difference. But if I come back to my camera profile, there I'm getting a brighter blue with less yellow in the sky. If I turn off show paper white, I'll see a more true representation of what it's going to print as. And match print colors may give you some difference on screen. It's giving you a preview of what it will look like printed. So that's where I'm seeing my difference between the original image and what's happening with my color management choices. So I'll go back to the wide gamut RGB, but choose the one that's appropriate for your named device. I could also scale on output, or I could make a selection and print the selected area. I'll show you that in a moment. But some helpful information you could also add is I could put on crop marks. Now, if I do that, I need to add a little bit of room, maybe half an inch from the top and half an inch from the left. So there, you'll see corner crop marks. I could add center crop marks registration marks, if you're printing color separations for film or plate, they often do that. A description. So this pulls from the metadata of the image. And individual labels. So a label would be the file name at the top. But I'm going to leave those off, and I'm going to come back to Center and that is most of the information you'll need in order to print a document. You could choose portrait or landscape. One might fit better than the other for the given device. But I'm going to hit Done. And if I just wanted to get a printout of this girl walking, I could make a selection of that given area. Choose File, Print. And if I scroll down, print only the selected area, and you'll see 
what I've selected. This has been an overview of the Print Dialog in Photoshop, which is now scalable and gives you complete control over how your color is output, either Photoshop managing the color, which is preferred, or your device managing the color, where you would use your own device profile in the device's print dialog. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of printing in Photoshop CC.